welcome back to another vlog series. It is Tuesday the 15th. It's about 9 o'clock at night. And I got quite a bit of stitching done today, actually. Um, I didn't film it all on my trip. For those of you that don't know, I was at my uncle, well, at my cousin's house in Denver for my uncle's um, celebration of life. He passed away last week. Um, that went really well. He, we ended up having about a hundred people, if we think, that came to it. We've had people from, like, us, Southern California. We had people from Albuquerque. We had people from Nebraska. Tons of food. Um, and my husband had put together a really nice slideshow to play during it, so... No problem staying in that room or anything. It was the scariest part of staying in the room was the animatronic witch that my cousin had in the window for her Halloween decorations. Um, and she asked if she, we wanted her to move it, but it was fine. It was funny. I didn't film much just because we had so much, or actually I didn't film at all, just because we had so much family in and out and went and saw my grandma on my dad's side and saw my dad um, so basically just a lot of a lot of talking and catching up and things of that nature so but I did get my homework done and I got it all done on the homework was to We were practicing apparition, and we were supposed to stitch a thousand stitches on whatever number came up in the random number generator, which for my house happened to be four, which meant we had to break up a thousand stitches into four projects. I wasn't going to do that. So what I did instead was I chose the 1500 stitch option on one piece, because I did not splinch myself at all. So. Most of it went in on Venom of the Opera. You guys have not seen him yet. And you will notice a change. So here he is. Back stitching and everything is complete. And I added these music notes up here, which are part of the original stitch along. She did a like an extra like spooky extras so all of this was 13 no 1239 stitches so for the rest I put them in on This guy. Now, he probably is going to be the most changed from the original. Most of the changes are extras. The other one is a color change that I made. So here is the Wolfman in full. So as you can see, the thing I changed is the moon. It is in Glow in the Dark, as well as the DMC Etoile. I wanted it to sort of match the big moon, but this moon is all DMC, or is, sorry, is all Etoile, not Glow in the Dark. So every room has some Glow in the Dark aspects, and I think I've gone over these, but the bride's dress and her hair the mummy himself, the buttons on Frankenstein's machine, the skulls, his mask, and the keyboard keys, and then the wolfman, his is in the moon and in this tombstone. This tombstone was originally supposed to be gray. 
So after I did the 1200 up here, I did the other 300 mostly in the wolf's body. And then I went ahead and started this week's homework. I didn't start until today, actually. No, I, I did some yesterday um, at my mom's house. Our flight got in last night super late. We, I think we finally got home around 1 o'clock in the morning. So I didn't stitch it all on the plane. I took it with me, but wasn't feeling it. The, the flights were super short. Like, the first one was only two hours. The second one was split up because we went to Vegas first um, and had a layover for about an hour. So just wasn't feeling it. I actually didn't even read either. But... So, basically, I put in, uh, like, everything today, except for his body and, no, just the brown parts of his body, I'm pretty sure, and the little meat haunches down here. So, I used him for, this week's prompts are the pen sieve, and it's basically the memories that Harry has to get. And there's seven, basically seven tasks that we have to put in 200 stitches each on. And there's one bonus point. So, and the things that were added to this one is the pants out on the line and the tombstone. And so there actually was supposed to be a tree here if you're doing the spooky extras. So there was a lot of back and forth with this pattern between the original and the extras. Um, and I can't really show it to you without showing you the pattern, but... The way this is charted with the extras is there's a big tree that's out here and it kind of goes on the inside as well. So I had to go back and forth between like, especially down here, like between the tombstone extra and then the original pattern to like figure out where the grass was going to go. Probably could have figured it out, but it's fine. So the seven tasks, I'm doing it between two projects, this and Aurora. The first task is stitch in purple for the Relatio Jinx. That will be on Aurora. The second one is stitch on your best piece. That will be Aurora as well because Tom Riddle keeps trophies from his victims. The third one is Tom Riddle went back to his maternal and paternal family home. So stitch on a, a human house. And I did this one because technically Igor is a human and so is Phantom. So is The Invisible Man, Vincent Price, and technically you could say that The Mummy was once a human, The Wolfman is a human most of the time, and Frankenstein and his, or Frankenstein's monster and his bride are made up of parts of humans, so still technically fits, right? Um... And even the ghosts were once human. Once up there, so. Oh, and the the ghosts, as a reminder, are in the glow in the dark as well. Let's see. The fourth thing is that Tom and his cronies meet with Professor Slughorn for the first time and bribe him with crystallized pineapples. Stitch on a f project with a food item that you would give as a gift. This one I didn't think I would be able to do, but then I remembered that I would definitely gift the Wolfman these meat haunches because I would much prefer that he eat those instead of me. Let's see, Tom meets Hokey the house elf, um, who locks her master's collection in a safe place, stitch on something that contains something you collect. I was going to have trouble with this one too. Technically I'd collect cross stitch so anything would have worked, but I didn't think that would count. So the invisible man has books in his room and I collect books. So that's why I was going to not do invisible man next, but I went ahead and decided I'm going to stitch him. So I'm actually going to be skipping and coming down to here because that's where the invisible man's room is going to go on mine. Tom goes to Hogwarts to ask about the Defense Against the Dark Arts position and was denied. The position is now cursed, so stitch on a project that you feel is cursed. I have run into so many issues stitching this. I love it, 
but my counting is off since it's not solid stitching. The, I always seem to miss a color, or like not miss a color, but like, like for instance, I did all of the moon. Totally forgot to come down here and do the tombstone. So then I had to come back and do the tombstone. Um, same thing up here. I had forgotten to do, after I did the red, I'd forgotten to come back in and do his bow tie. So I had to do that. And don't even ask about this. So basically what had happened was I had come in, did all the back stitching with the two strands of black. The extras on this pattern for some reason do not have instructions. So I kind of just had to guess. And so I did everything with two strands. This clothesline I had done one stitch down. Normally I don't care, but in this case it didn't make any sense so I had to come back and frog it because if the clothesline is too short, it doesn't make any sense for the clothespins because they're not actually holding on to anything. And I know that's something that would have bugged me. So I came back actually with one strand because I think two was too thick. Because these are like little bows over here on the sides. But yeah, ripping this out basically had messed up this entire corner up here because ripping out backstitch is not always the easiest thing to do. And it messed up the actual fabric, but I think I got it fixed. It looks fine. You're not going to notice until you're, unless you're like super looking closely at it. And if you're doing that to my work, shame on you. It's fine if I'm showing you now, but if you're coming to my house and looking that closely at my work, shame, shame. Um, and then the last one is talking about the horcruxes and how Lord Voldemort was scared to die and so he wanted to live forever so stitch on a piece that you do not want to end I haven't done it yet but this will be on this piece as well this is the one I'm currently working on or the task I'm currently working on and basically just because now that even though it's a pain it's a lot of fun like each individual room it's a lot of fun watching it come to life like, look how cute that is. That is adorable. And they're all adorable. So. Anyway, those are my plans for this week. I got a lot more in on this one than I thought I would. I don't think it's going to be finished by Halloween. Because my sister-in-law is coming into town we're going to go to the halloween party at disneyland and we just finally chose our costumes which is going to be little mermaid theme and so i got ursula slash vanessa so i'm going to do vanessa because i was going to do a combo costume and do like one half ariel or sorry one half ursula and one half vanessa but it would have been way too hard um, with, I mean, it's definitely doable, but with the time I have left, not enough, I don't have enough time. So, like, she's coming next weekend. It's Tuesday. I just ordered my stuff from Amazon, too. I still have to create parts of my costume if I don't, because I basically don't want to spend, like, over $100. So, I found a skirt that will work. Um which I got for like $15 or $20 or something. And then I found a corset top. It is a, I couldn't find a purple that would work because I needed like a dark purple and all the ones that were dark purple were like 60 bucks. Mm -mm. I found a $20 white one that I'm going to either dye or I'll have to wait to see what it, what it looks like when I get it. Um, but I'll either dye it or I'll use fabric paint on it to get it the color I need. So I will have to spend some time doing that, but, and then my husband has to make a, use his 3d printer to make a seashell necklace for me. Cause I found some on Etsy, but they're like 30 bucks. Um, 
but I want one that glows because that's kind of a major component of it. So I'm going to have him just make me a quick, well, quick seashell necklace that I can put some lights into. But I need to get him on that like tomorrow. But got a lot accomplished today. Like I said, we didn't get at home last night until like one o'clock in the morning. So I got up at like seven, did quite a bit of work actually. Did three loads of laundry, including our sheets. And then we started putting up the Halloween decorations and well, we got out the Halloween decorations for outside. And then we were gonna put them up tonight, but we decided to do a pretty intense house cleaning um, for like an hour or two because we realized when we came home last night that it smelled majorly of cats, which our house doesn't normally. And so we had to figure out where the smell was coming from. And we think it was from the trash can. Um, just some stuff we threw away didn't, we think it got in the trash can itself and didn't make it in the bag. So we don't know if we threw it away or if my mother-in-law did cause she was the one watching the cats. But either way we had to come home and majorly house clean cause it was bad. So. Anyway, I feel very accomplished for today because I did get a lot done. I have to go to Ventura tomorrow to meet with parents for our meetings. I was trying to make it kind of a short day, but most of my parents decided to go to different locations on different days, which is great, except for I have a parent who wanted to meet at 9 o'clock in the morning and another that wanted to meet at 3 o'clock at the afternoon and those are my only two parents so I'll take some stitching and I'll take some reading but I'm gonna have to leave super early because Ventura is a, about an hour away and plus traffic in LA so. um yeah so that's all I have for you guys for today and I will see you all tomorrow hey guys welcome back it is Friday the 18th. Happy Friday. It is about 2.45 in the afternoon. I haven't got a lot of stitching done. Um, basically, the last couple of days has just been spent finding Halloween stuff, Halloween costumes, stuff for Halloween costumes, and putting up decorations. So. We've already had a couple of decoration casualties because of the wind, but nothing that, I guess I shouldn't say casualties, injuries, because they can be fixed. Um, so what I've been working on mostly, so let me show you what I finished stitching wise. I haven't even done 200. I've got the black. So this is a book, a spider, there's a um, Bunsen burner over here with a potion on top of it. The brim of his hat and his sunglasses. These are the eyes of a skull and a candle. Um, so this is the Invisible Man. And I'm doing the version, there is a version where he's like wrapped up, but I'm doing the version where he's just nothing. Um, and then the blue up here, the dark blue, up above him is the creature from the Black Lagoon and his lake is starting to leak kind of into the room. So that's where this blue, or what this blue is. Oh, and that little dot is the, there's a picture up here, so that's the nail. So it's coming along. Um, the blue I just finished just now, or I should say started and finished just now. Once I can keep stitching, it'll go pretty quick. I still have two more homework assignments to get in on that. But like I said, I've been working on my Halloween costume. So we decided, I don't remember if I told you guys this, but we decided that we were going to do Little Mermaid and that I am going to be Vanessa, which is Ariel or Ursula's human counterpart. So this is what she looks like. Kind of funny how that's showing up. But basically she's got this long, 
there we go this long purple skirt and this dark purple top couldn't find a top that worked because I wanted to do a corset top because it is a little bit more fitted and it's got that V down the front so I decided I'm gonna make my own so what I did was on Amazon I bought this corset which I was planning on dyeing or painting a different color the dark purple but it doesn't have the V the neckline's a little different and this is I think way too shiny to be able to dye well. I'm still going to use it because, I mean, who doesn't love corset? But also, I was able to use it, which I'm really glad it has this zipper on the side of it. I mean, it's got the back too. It's got the actual corset part of it. But I used that as a template since I was able to unzip it, I could basically just trace it onto fabric as a start for my corset cover. So I did a zipper down here on the side. I couldn't find a color that matched well. They basically had run out of the better color <coughs> in the size, <coughs> excuse me, in the size that I needed. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so I was able to put the V on it. It's not as steep of a V as I would have liked, but that's okay. And now all it's missing is straps, which I have cut out, sewn together, and ironed, but I need my husband's help to, I need to actually put this on and have him pin it for me. Um, I have the Wonder Clips where I think it should go, but I might as well use them while I have him. So basically I've done as much as I can do until he gets home. Sorry guys, phone call. Um, so I still have to make my necklace, or have him make my necklace, and I still have to get a little like LED light to go in the necklace, because that's, I think, a big part of her costume is the seashell necklace, and it does glow. So, um, my husband's going to 3D print the necklace, and he is really into that technical aspect of things. So we're going to try to go to, well, he doesn't know this yet, but I'm going to make him go to Target with me tonight um, and try to see if they have like a little LED light that he can figure out how to get in there, which should be fine. He likes doing stuff like that. So I do need to cut into my top in order to get that V um, in there, but that's kind of going to be the last thing I have because that's really easy. All I'm going to basically have to do is cut out a V into the actual neckline. Um, so it opens so that it finishes the seam and then just string the string through it, which I don't have the string either, but I'm thinking I will just cut out pieces. Like I have a bunch of extra fabric, so I'll just cut out pieces of the fabric. But I also was able to get the skirt from Amazon, which this is perfect. It's got good movement to it. It's, I went ahead and got the satin just to add a little bit of shine to it. Um, but it actually helps the fabric hold up as well to make it more of a ball gown and less of a, um, what word am I trying to think of? Like less like a nightgown, I guess, and more of like a ball gown. So it doesn't like cling to your legs and stuff. So the bottom's all done. The top is well on its way. Like I said, I just have to attach the straps and cut out the V. So don't think it'll take me super long to do that, but I'm gonna try to have that done tonight. So instead of being, you know, Prince Eric or Flounder. My husband decided he is going to be the Dingle Hopper. Yeah. So, 
it's my cousin's idea when we were at my uncle's celebration of life thing so she told him he should be the dingle hopper he loved the idea so we had to try to find a fork costume problem with that is that toy story 4 came out and the main character in that is a spork named forky so we were able to find a couple of fork costumes but they were not amazon prime and so we would not get them in time um we need the costumes for sunday which is two days away for the mickey halloween party so look like we went last night which is why i didn't stitch to well we actually did two things so we went to spirit halloween i'd gone yesterday to the spirit halloween near us they didn't have anything and then i went to the spirit or, and so then we decided to go to the Spirit Halloween. He was going to go on his way home from work, but we decided to go grab dinner and, and stuff instead. So he got home from work early. We went to the Spirit Halloween that's in the next town over. So basically we have one that, the town that way, which I went to yesterday, and the town that way, which is a little further away, um, which is part of a big shopping center that has that, Party City... Walmart. We had to go to the pet store to get food. Um, and no, nobody had the costume. So we got back. Well, first, actually, so we went to, we decided to get new iPhones because iPhone has this thing now where some of the iPhone 7s, which is what we both have, will like with the new iOS 13 update that came it like stopped the actual antenna from working so he couldn't make or receive any calls through cell and same with text messages he couldn't do anything basically um for cell service which is what you buy a cell phone for so we had to take it back to get it fixed because there's a three year limit on it and we were like a week away from our three year. So what we basically did was, since we're getting new phones, he called, we're also switching companies because it's cheaper and we get unlimited data. So we're switching from Verizon to T-Mobile. He called T-Mobile last night and they have a deal where you get like, you can trade in a seven to get an 11 for you know, a much better rate. The problem with that is it's only one phone. So he called and got me the phone through T-Mobile. Um, I'm getting the Pro, the 11 Pro, which is has a better camera because that's what I used to film. And it has the It's got like the three cameras, I think, and it's actually a little bit smaller. And so we got it for me. Um, it's going to be here probably at the beginning of, beginning of November. And the reason we got my phone that way is because we were planning on going to the Apple store to get his phone. Well, the problem with that is that we actually figured out we have to wait for me to get my phone before we can switch over. So he's actually going to have to wait and get his phone when I get mine anyway. So we had to go to the Apple store last night in order to fix it, like get that updated and fixed so that then he can trade it in to get his new phone. It's all very convoluted. It's all a pain in the butt. <laughs> but anyway, we're, we'll have new phones soon, uh, but... We didn't get home last night until about 9 because we went and got dinner there too because they have a soup plantation, which my husband is obsessed with their cornbread. And we were kind of on that side of, or in that town anyway, so went ahead and stopped and got dinner. And then the night before that, God, I don't even remember what we did. I had my... I was in Ventura all day for work, I think is what it was, which is about an hour away. And then that night, I think, I think I wasn't feeling good, and so I just ended up reading all night. I mean, I didn't get home until late anyway, but 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just read. Um, but tonight, all we have to do is go to Target. And then he has to make my necklace for me on his 3D printer. Oh! So we did actually find the, the fort costume. So what we were planning on doing was he would have to or I would have to make his costume for him because tomorrow he is going down to meet his sister and cousin and they're going to go to the Universal Halloween Horror Nights. I don't do Horror Nights so I'm going to meet up with them later on and we're gonna stay at the hotel with them but that means tomorrow I get to go to my stitching get-together that's local. But I was going to have to make his costume for him since I had the extra day. But luckily last night on their way home from Spirit Halloween and all that, I was able to find a costume on Amazon, a fort costume. It's a little different than the one he was looking at, but it was prime so it could be here Saturday. So what I did was I, when I had searched like fork, you know, adult fork Halloween costume, I saw underneath that it said here's the results for Forky, search instead for just Fork. So I hit that and then I found literally all the Forks, like all the costumes, and only one of them was Prime. So I told him, hey, I found your, I found a costume, you have an hour to order it, or I'm going to order it for you. He says, well, I'm going to look at it. It says I have an hour to order it to get it delivered on Saturday. So as soon as we got home, he forgot, luckily I remembered. So I was like, quick, get your costume. Um, gave him his computer and he was able to order it. So I don't actually have to do anything on my end. But he still has to get a black bodysuit or something because the way the costume works is it's like the head is the fork. So like the tines are like a crown kind of thing. Um, and then it comes down around the chin and then it forms the handle. Like kind of goes down your whole front. So what that means, you have to like black out the whole back of it in order to like create the negative space to really make the fork show. So if he doesn't have black clothes, we're going to have to get some at Target anyway. So I'm going to have him check that when he gets home before we leave. So that's good because I don't have to actually make anything and I can focus on my stitching tomorrow. And it's a good thing I remembered because I didn't want to make a costume. My own is pain enough. <laughs> um, I'm still waiting to get my prescription. I called and because it's a specialty prescription, they still are waiting for it to be delivered. But at least I found out which um, pharmacy it was because I couldn't remember like which one I had told them. Because I think I gave one pharmacy to one place and one to another because we literally have like a CVS next to a Walgreens here and then there's one like right down the street. There's another CVS down there. So I had to call and figure out which one I actually had stuff sent to. But yeah, because it's not a prescription that apparently gets ordered a lot because you can only take it for five days once a month. But hopefully I will get that soon and we can start trying to have a baby. Would be nice. But yeah, so that is a lot of talking from me. Kind of catch you guys up on everything. I still have a lot of floss tube to watch. I'm kind of trying to catch up today. But there's a lot of it. I think I have like 100 videos or something in my queue. So, and that's just from the week that I was gone. So slowly trying to catch up, watching some of Danielle's Stitcheristas ones now and cut up on Rita Marie. She finished Lady and the Tiger. So that one was really cool. Um, go check her out, Rita Marie Stitching Adventures. And I think I'm caught up with Christine Stitch All The Things. I might be one video behind, but I'll have to double check on that. But yeah, just trying to slowly go through and, and watch all those. So anyway, that is enough yapping from me. I will probably see you guys tomorrow, depending on how much of my costume I get done tonight. I should have time between going to my stitching get together and going to my husband's 
or sister-in-law's hotel or whatever um, tomorrow night. I'm not actually sure what we're doing Sunday. I know Sunday night we're going to the Halloween party, but you can't get in till 3. I don't know if we're actually going in the park that day, so I'm going to have to actually ask my husband about that. <laughs> Might be nice to know. But anyway, like I said, I should have time to come back and yep you guys some more and hopefully have some progress for you. So I will see you all then. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Saturday the 19th. It's about 6.45 at night and I am back with another clip. So had to run some errands today. I ended up not going to my stitchy get together because we were trying to figure out rides and like how we were going to work going down to Burbank um, so that we basically I had to wait here for my husband's costume to come and it came on time it came at like 11 um, but my husband didn't want me sitting in the Airbnb all night and stitching which I mean it's totally fine by me if I do but whatever so we decided that I will stay home tonight with the cats. Um, it also had to do with his mom would have to come take care of the cats and she's taking care of her mom right now. And she was willing to do it, like she's she was fine with it, but there was a lot of round trips and so we decided to, I would just stay here and um, I'll leave tomorrow morning to go to Disneyland. Or actually Burbank and then meet up. And then he'll drive to Disneyland. So I won't be seeing his cousin, but I will be seeing his sister. So, and I'm going to see his cousin next month anyway. But they are at Universal right now, probably getting their wit scared out of them. And I'm stitching. So, working on Universal Monster Sal. I just finished up. The Invisible Man's Room, which I think is looking pretty cool. All the white is done with uh, Glow in the Dark. And it looks pretty cool, I think. Seeing it in person is so much cooler than seeing it on the pattern, because even though it's a colored pattern and they do look alike, like the back stitching just brings it into so much detail and the colors are so vibrant in this. Got my little scroll down here. Not sure what I'm going to work on next. I still have the five rooms. I know this room is last, but I'm thinking I might do the witch room next, which I think is over here. I have Dracula. Vincent Price, The Witch Room, The Creature, and The Creature from the Black Lagoon left. I think I'm going to save The Creature for second to last because he's my favorite. Like the colors in his are really fun. But yeah, they all have cool aspects to them. So really excited with how he turned out. I didn't do any sort of backstitching outline or anything like that he is literally invisible because I figure why stitch more if I don't need to I'm using that right now for one of the thousand stitch ultimate extra credits I still have I think seven of those left a little scary but I still have one more ultimate extra credit I have to do, which will be on Harry Potter, but that's going to have to wait until next week when I have a little bit of time. And I really would like to finish Universal Monsters if I can. Put in 400, ow, stab myself with a needle. Put in 400 stitches on Aurora. So it's this blend right here, which is 200 stitches in purple, 200 stitches on your best project. And that is a mix of 340 and 3746. I need to see if I have more 340. I think I bought more, but I'm not totally sure because 
Actually, I think the last color is 3746, so it should be fine, but there is still a lot of the mix left, I think, so. Problem when you have two needle minders on a project. So there she is in all of her glory. Still will have a lot of back stitching, but that's okay. It is fun to be at the bottom, I'm not gonna lie. So I finished up those 400 last night. I did about 500 so far today. We actually didn't wake up until like 11. And then once we figured out that whole thing with the rides and stuff, I went out to get lunch at the same time he left. My dinner is in the microwave right now. Well, it's done by now, but. But then I had to go to Joanne's to try to get, his 3D printer isn't working. And so I had to try to figure out how to make the rest of my costume work. So what I did was I picked up some Cricut um, iron-on, yeah. Cricut iron-on vinyl to make the V part of her dress instead of cutting it out and like putting it back together. I'm just gonna cut out the negative space with that light purple and stick it on. I got some elastic before my husband's costume. I need to sew around the back of it because it's basically just one long piece in the front. Like imagine like a like one of those joke ties. It's like that. Um, so there's nothing actually to like attach it to him other than the headpiece, and so I'm going to make it a little bit sturdier. The major thing I don't have because I already opened it. But basically, so I had to figure out how to make a shell necklace. And I was thinking that I would go get some, I ended up getting lunch right next to Joanne, so I just went in Joanne's and I was thinking, I'll just get some polymer clay or something. That way I can like make it, like make the shape and then paint it, or you know, bake it, paint it, all that. But then I saw that they had a whole bag of seashells in the store. Make sure it's dry, put a couple of coats on it. So I just got an actual seashell out of there. They had the exact one I needed and I just painted it with the gold. So I had to get some Inca gold metallic paint, put two coats on it. It's not perfect, but I don't want it to be. Um, and I might still do, I did get some glow in the dark paint as well. So I might put a coat on it of that. So basically what I've been doing is painting, going out and stitching into the living room, watching Halloween Town, Halloween Town 2. I'm currently on Halloween Town 3. <laughs> I made sure my husband didn't care. He That wasn't a sh movie he wanted to watch or a set of movies. Um, I would watch a little bit of it, come back, paint some more, go back. Basically, when I have paint, I can't be around it for a large amount of time because then my cat comes in and wants to play with whatever I'm doing. So I have to like kind of make it quick in here. Um, otherwise, I have to go outside and do it outside. And it's been really windy, which is why I need to put some elastic on my husband's costume. <laughs> um, and then I just got some simple black ribbon for attaching or for making the actual necklace part of the necklace. So... Like I said, it's already seven o'clock at night. I was really into finishing up the invisible man's room. If you heard that, that's my cat out there. So now that I've finished that, I do need to kind of gung-ho on this and paint one or two coats. Mocha! She's clawed on the couch. Paint one or two coats of um, glow-in-the-dark on here, drill into it, I'm thinking over here on the sides to string the necklace through, pull out my Cricut machine so that I can cut out the um, vinyl, iron it on, cut out, or not cut out, but then pull out the sewing machine to attach the elastic. So that being said, 
I got a big night ahead of me. But stitching was the priority and that's totally fine. So I'm gonna go eat dinner, watch a little bit more of Halloween Town, and then well, I'm gonna paint a coat first, then go and eat dinner. And hopefully that dries pretty fast, so. They had two different kinds of the glow-in-the-dark paint, and this one seemed to be the most, like have the, the best reviews. So I'm hoping it works pretty well. I was thinking about doing like a black light effect paint on it as well, since Disney uses a lot of black lights. Sorry, I'm opening the glow-in-the-dark. But all of those are super bright, and I don't think it would be as true to the costume, so. I'm kind of glad I stayed home, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to make the necklace, and that's kind of an integral part of the costume. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I will see you, I'm, I'm going to try to film a little bit at Disney so you can see a little bit of the Halloween party. Um, other than that, bleh. other than that, I will see you all probably in a Probably Monday, Monday or Tuesday. See you then. Oh, I remember you. You that princess with the red hair that lost the voice. <laughs> but another one. Are you the same one? Oh, she can't talk. <laughs> Ursula already got to her, huh? Well, well, you look good, huh? Keep it. Don't give it back now. And, and don't let them do what Princess Gianna did to me. If she takes that necklace from you and breaks it, it's all over for you. <laughs> got Trust it. me. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Monday the 21st. It's my husband's birthday today. It's 2.15. And I am exhausted. I'm not used to Disneyland late at night. Um, had a lot of fun last night. Ended up going down at about 10-ish. No, it was closer to 11, I think, in the morning. By the time I actually got showered and all that jazz. Um, had to be up early. Well early today so I had to be up at 9 30 for a meeting ended up waking up like halfway through the night last night because I was severely thirsty so yeah didn't sleep super well but anyway we got home at about I think it was probably about one in the morning like 12 31 ish maybe had a drink too many but that's okay. I ended up having, I t forgot that I didn't have my car because I took it down. And so I like left my house to go get lunch today. Realized, oh crap, I don't have my car. So I got Chipotle delivered because it was too far away to walk. And the only things really within walking distance are Jersey Mike's, which we eat a lot. And so I wasn't feeling it and a McDonald's, which is across the street, like two blocks down, but it's like 95 today, and I was not feeling that. Plus, Chipotle is a little bit healthier, I think, a little bit. Nothing fried, at least, except for the chips. Whew, excuse me. Anyway, like I said, it's my husband's birthday today, so we're going to go down to Buca de Beppo for dinner. Not super hungry right now, but even though I ate lunch at like 12, so hopefully I get a little bit more hungry. But basically having dinner with his family, my mother-in-law is going to pick me up, and then I think we're going to get our cars. My husband had to go to the DMV today, even though he has technically a grace period, he wasn't, didn't want to use the grace period. So I hope that went well and he didn't have a super long wait. 
He said when, because you can look now, and he said when he left at like 9.30, there was, or he, he said at like 9.30, there wasn't a wait. Um, or that was like 9, because then he like showered and left during my meeting, which was like 9.30, so he shouldn't have had to wait too long, I hope. I got some stitching done, so Saturday I ended up finishing my, my necklace and stuff at like one in the morning because I totally forgot about like drilling into the seashell to put the uh, the ribbon through so ended up doing that and I got basically because I was focused on stitching I ended up watching all four Halloween Town movies and then finished my husband's costume piece finished up the rest of my costume pieces and God, I watched, I ended up staying up later than I was planning because of stitching. Um, I ended up watching not only the four movies, but I, I was going to say I ended up again, but, but then I watched, ended up watching Halloween Wars, I think two episodes and then two episodes of Halloween Baking Championship. They don't have all of them on demand, but they did have a couple of the newer ones, so. Anyway, the reason I stayed up so late was that I finished The Invisible Man. I don't remember if I showed you guys this finish, um, but it's super cute. The back stitching in this particular block makes it really stand out. And then I started The Witchy Room and the reason I stayed up so late was I really just wanted to finish the black and there's a lot of black in this one so all together on Saturday I ended up putting in about 800 stitches I think so I'm done with work for today I actually did some work I'm not really done but I'm at a good stopping point I have the fall festival tomorrow that I have to go to and I'm gonna meet with like one family tomorrow, I think. But for now, my ma mother in law is going to pick me up at like five. So it gives me about three hours to work some more on here. I'm going to try to. This one doesn't have a super ton of colors. I think it only has like five or six. So I'm going to do the green. There's two different greens in the cauldron purple with a couple of greens in the doorway. Um, there's a like gray. Yellow light, which is just the light, I think, and then the candle, which I think I'm gonna do. There's some white in the door, and there's not a whole lot of white in this particular pattern, but because of the glow in the dark, I need to put it in there somewhere. So, this candle is actually supposed to be like tan, but I'm gonna make it white, um, and then put the black flame on it for the black flame candle of Hocus Pocus, and then stitch the broom, which has like two colors of brown. So the most colors are here in the doorway. There is a big bat up here, but I'm not gonna stitch him. Um, but I did do the little spider, so. I think this is my last spider I have to do. I cut him out of one or two patterns, but couldn't really cut him out of this. Well, I could cut him out of this one, but it gives me a nice, like we have the spider. I don't have one in the top, do I? Gives me these two spiders, the spider here, and then the spider down here. So they're kind of spread out, and it's not like a ton of spiders in one place. There is a cobweb in this one that I haven't decided if I'm going to do or not. But there is quite a bit of backstitching on the doorway and stuff, so we'll see what I'm feeling like when it gets to that point where I'm doing the black backstitch. But. I think I'm just gonna work like left to right, so I'm gonna start over here in the, the greens of the cauldron. And we'll see where I get to, so. Anyway, those are my plans for today. We'll see how much I get done. I'm trying to finish the thousand stitches so that I can start today's homework, or this week's homework, which is, I think I'll have three patterns. I'm gonna stitch all six prompts 
we are at the point where we are in the cave with Harry. Still haven't read the book, and I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna get to it this, these couple weeks, mainly because I just keep forgetting to read it, and now I'm kind of out of time. I mean, I still have a week, so maybe. We'll see. But I have to stitch, I don't even know why I'm pretending I'm done. I'm, I'm not gonna figure it out. Let's see. So I'm just gonna go to saved, but I don't have it saved yet. Ooh, I saw somebody just posted in the group where they did a crystal ball instead of the black wind candle, so that's cool. Anyway, focusing. So the first prompt is trusting each other, stitch on a pattern that you were unsure of, but you continued on trusting the pattern. I think I'm going to do that with the Haunted Mansion because the colors are so bright, like they look really good compared to the photo of the stitch pattern, like the colors in it just look a lot more muted, so I'm trusting the pattern to look bright. Even though I made a couple of changes, I still really like the colors that she picked. Number two, for the cave, stitch on something with an entryway. Um, monster style. Warmth, light, or cold, dark for the sunlight and the inferior, inferi, pick one of the themes and stitch on it. Universal Monsters is dark. A uh, Sectum Sempra Curse, stitch on a piece that is in parts that form a whole. Universal Monsters, because it was a stitch along. Um, I think I can do that. I might have to, I may have to check the question pages, or not question pages, but like check to see if anybody has asked that question yet, if that will work, because there's a lot of cells. They, like, the example they use is, like, the Teresa Wensler fantasy triptych because it's three, it's one design cut into three parts, but this is kind of the other way where it comes out in parts and it goes into a hole, so I'll have to check and see if that will work. Um, we traveled by boat for number five. Using the word boat, pick one letter and stitch a design. Uh, that'll be Aurora. Aguamenti is a spell that creates water. Stitch on a design that has water. That'll be Universal Monsters because the creature room has water in it. And then for bonus, 200 stitches. The Horcrux we found was a necklace. Stitch on a design that has a necklace. You would think it would be Universal Monsters or Aurora, but neither of those actually fit. So I'm going to pull out Hocus Pocus um, and stitch on that. And... So the one, the thousand that I'm doing is for the Quidditch Fowls. And my argument is that each of these monsters has done a foul thing. It's like killing people, maiming. Tearing people apart, stuff like that. All very foul things to do, so. And that's actually when I forgot to write in my notebook and I kept because I kept counting 15 total that I finished but only 21 total and we're supposed to have 22 so I, I went over it like four or five times and finally realized that I left out the fouls part so went ahead and stitched that because I I like my argument for it or my explanation so anyway we'll see if I can get the thousand done today and if not hopefully tomorrow and then I can start the homework and start those four or five things that I can use this for. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Tuesday the 22nd. It is pie time right now. 3.14. Dinner last night went well for my husband's birthday, but I I think he got sick today, so I don't think it was the actual dinner, but I guess he woke up throwing up, so he's at work now. I was going to go to the market 
and get some stuff for like chicken soup or something, but my card interest charges went through, so now my card is maxed out again, so he's going to have to go with me tonight. But I just finished up the witch room. So the black and white was already done and everything else, I actually forgot to count these gray stitches um, on the side and up here, so my bad. But basically I put in 209 stitches today, including all the back stitch. So the door is pretty heavily back stitched, but I think it's really cool looking. There's two colors of green in the cauldron and the green comes up here. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but the green comes into here and then down here. And a little black flame on the candle. And yeah, I really like this one. There was a big bat up here, but I took him out, which means I only have four rooms left. I would like to finish before Halloween, but I don't know if that's possible. So we'll see. I'm going to start on Vincent Price's room, which is going to be right up here. Actually, I might do, I'll either do him or I'll do Dracula. And I discovered as I was looking at Dracula, he has a necklace, so I can use him as the bonus. So I don't have to pull out Hocus Pocus. So sorry to those of you that wanted to see Hocus Pocus, but so yeah, I was actually really excited about that. So I may start him just because he has a ton of red and the one in the middle has a ton of red too. So to break it up a little bit, I might start with Drac, but I basically have Drac, Vincent Price, Creature of the from the Black Lagoon, and the entryway, which will be the movie theater scene. And the movie theater scene has a lot of red because of the like movie premiere red curtains, which is kind of similar to... Um, Phantom's room. So there is the piece as a whole so far. I did buy the frame for this. So, and it won't take me long to frame. I don't think because it won't have, the frame is just big enough that I won't need a mat. So we'll see if I can finish on time. Um, but like I said, we'll probably have to go grocery shopping tonight. And until then, I got a couple hours to stitch. So I'm going to get to that and I will see you all later. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Wednesday night. It's the 23rd. I don't think I came to you yesterday, but I could be wrong. Um, it's 11.15 at night. So... I have some progress. Ended up spending like six hours straight stitching yesterday. My husband got a little case of the stomach flu or something, some type of stomach bug. But he went to bed early and I basically just sat and stitched all night and did all of Dracula. So I used this for two or three homework assignments, um, but I did use him for the bonus for the necklace. Then I got the black done of the Vincent Price room. I haven't counted up these stitches yet. I don't know if it's quite 200, but would have gotten more done. Um, However, hmm, that was weird. However, we spent a lot of tonight putting some final touches on our Halloween decorations, which took quite a while. So basically, we added all the lights and 
giant spider web hanging from the roof, fixed our archway thing. I'll show them all to you guys on Halloween night because there's some stuff we're not putting out until then, like the ghost effects and the projector effects. Um, and we're going to put out a strobe on the spider and the spider web. So that's all going to wait because we don't want people taking them. And one of them is going to shine through this window of the craft room. So we won't be able to be in here that night, but that's fine. Still have to put out my little witchy room too that I'm planning. Yeah, so I only have, I think, I think I only have one more, um, show it to you guys just so you can see it all so far. I think I only have one more homework assignment on this one. And then one with Aurora, so. And that's going to be the water. Um, this one is the water. So, yeah, it's looking pretty cool. I did take out, the black is charted to go all the way around on this one, but I kind of like it just on the one side. Because I think it looks, I think it gives it kind of a 3D effect, but for this one, his shirt, his teeth, and the candles are in the glow in the dark. And he will have the glow in the dark on, I'm not sure actually, I think it's on the candle as well. Let's see, his will be on his shirt and the candle. And that's it. Um, he does have a lot more colors in him and he does have a lot more backstitch than Dracula does, so it will take a little bit longer, but I am removing... It's not a ton of backstitch, but it's like... Oops. There's backstitch up here on this. I'm not really sure what this is, this little blade thing. Um, there's backstitch on the candle, of course, because all the candles are backstitch. His suit has, it's mainly on his body. Like, his suit has more backstitch than I'm used to. And there's some on his face because he's got his little mustache and stuff. But, like I said, there's a lot more colors. I think Dracula only had... Was it already? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. And Vincent has 16. So. But it's nice that the black is done. I did realize I messed up on the door with but the door is one stitch too wide. Like the area between the black from the door and him. Like the black of his pants and stuff. So, but that's fine. Um, that'll be easy to fudge. Since it's just straight up and down. Which I think... Oh yeah, no. Yeah, that'll be easy. So, the candle and his shirt, and I did take out the mouse just because I'm not a big mouse fan. Um, but now that the black has kind of outlined everything nicely, it should be easy to count from there. I do love, my favorite part is these little um, flame torch things. And I think these are actually supposed to be two different colors. I think one's white and one's light gray. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and make those. So anyway, that will be my goal 
hopefully will be to get that done tomorrow. I don't know how long it'll take me. I thought I was going to have an early day tomorrow as far as leaving work or being done with work early, but that will not be the case because I've had parents having to reschedule and they'll want to reschedule tomorrow, so. That and not turning in their grades until last minute. In fact, I don't think they, they haven't sent me the grades yet and they're due tomorrow, so. Gotta get on them about that. And luckily I don't have to drive as far. Today I had to drive for about an hour. Um, tomorrow it's only like an hour each way and tomorrow it's only like 20 minutes, so it's not bad. I do go by Michael's on the way home, but I might not actually stop. I didn't today, we'll see. That being said, I did get my birthday money from my dad, even though my birthday was in April. <laughs> Apparently the first card he sent got lost in the mail somewhere, but luckily it was a check instead of cash, so. Um, right, so I think I'm gonna use it on the Kindle Fire because it's on sale right now. I actually should order it tonight. So that being said, I am going to head to bed because I am exhausted. I ended up staying up until like one in the morning last night finishing up. I was super tired and all I had left was the black, which of course is the most of it. But I powered through and now I'm feeling the effects. So not powering through tonight. I'm going to bed. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Friday. Happy Friday. It's the 25th. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon or evening, I guess it is now. And I have some good news and bad news. The good news is I finished more of my Haunted Mansion stars, not Haunted Mansion, Universal Monster Stitch Along. The bad news is it's not as done as it could be because we had super bad winds come through that completely knocked over, destroyed all of our Halloween decorations. So if you heard, there's some new fires that started here because of the wind. I had to go to Camarillo yesterday I was kind of nervous to leave. I got really close to canceling all my appointments for the day just because I was kind of, it always makes me nervous leaving the house because I don't know if there's going to be a fire starting like near the house. So, but I went, I didn't, I went ahead and well, first we, we woke up at like five o'clock in the morning because the wind was so bad. It actually woke us up. So my husband went outside, it actually woke him up first, and then it woke me up and I noticed he was already out there. So I was in the process of getting dressed um, to go outside and help, like putting on something other than like super short shorts. And he was already on his way back in and said, everything looks secure. We have, like I removed like one or two tombstones um, but the rest all look fine. So he left for work and everything was fine. And by the time he left for work and I went outside, everything was gone. So I was able to recover. Let's see, we had six tombstones outside. I was able to recover five. We have one, like a big archway, um, like a made up of dead trees. Um, this one from Home Depot that's got like skeletons and stuff on it. That completely broke off from the base and the whole thing collapsed. One tombstone got pinned underneath it. Another tombstone got, or one got pinned underneath and then the other four were missing. No, the other five were missing. No, the four, because my husband had, no, there were five missing. My husband had taken off one, and then he had put it back when he had left for work, because um, we thought it was calming down, because it usually calms down a little bit during the day. So the other five were missing. 
I found two in the backyard. Then I found one. I actually forget where one of them was. I think it I think it was still in the front yard. I think it had blown off though. Forget where that one was. Um and then I found one in the neighbor's yard and she just had so <laughs> she just happened to come out when I was like, "Hey, my tombstone's over there." But what had happened is we had tried to take three of the dollar store tombstones, glue them together, cut out a hole in the middle, put some PVC in there and then plant it on rebar. Which worked except for the fact that the winds were so strong it completely ripped through the back like through a, basically a whole tombstone it ripped chunks off of our other ones we have a bunch of like the dollar store like plastic um fence post things and it ripped out six of the eight of them like completely broke them in half the spider web stayed up that's pretty much all that stayed up um, and that's just because of the way it's constructed. It's basically like a bunch of nylon rope put together and it was, the wind was able to blow through it because there was enough space in between. So, yeah. So right now our yard is a bunch of rebar sticking out of different places. We left the archway just laying on the ground. We are still trying to figure out how we're going to reattach the base because it's metal. It basically snapped the metal off. They said that we had like, if I remember right, I think it was like 60 mile an hour winds with gusts up to like 80. No, that sounds wrong. Might have been 40 with gusts up to like 60 or 70. But it, it, it was bad enough that my husband at one point thought that until he saw it for himself, he thought that somebody came and actually like pushed them over and destroyed them. But you could tell by the way that it was, that it landed, that it was because of the wind blowing. So it was all kind of in that same direction. And because I found two of the tombstones that apparently like, so we have gates on all sides. So the tombstones flew up out of the ground, flew into the air over the gates, which are like six feet tall and into the backyard. That happened to us last year too, with one of them, but these ones were, reinforced and so we thought it wouldn't be a problem we were wrong next year i think we're gonna have to make some cement ones or something so we're probably gonna go to the dollar store tonight to try to get some more decorations like try to get more fence posts and try to get more tombstones we'll see two of the tombstones were like the expensive ones from spirit halloween and it still just ripped through them like candy it's ridiculous but anyway, so that part is really depressing because we'd like literally just finished putting everything up, putting out the lights, everything looked fine, everything looked great, and now we literally have to do it all again. But anyway, on to some happier news. I finished up, get cat hair off of there. I finished up Vincent Price. The door is a stitch too wide. It's not supposed to touch the chair. I somehow miscounted. So his arm is longer, so I made up for it on this side as well and made it a stitch longer here. So we didn't look completely out of proportion. But because I was counting from the door up here, it means this is a stitch off too. If you notice, it looks like it's too far that way. But Still looks good. I wasn't about to rip it out. I was able to finish up all of the homework because I've started the creature's room as well. There's a lot of green and blue, y'all. So this is only two colors so far. Um, so, sorry Melissa, but you're not going to see Aurora probably at all this video. Because I'm going to post this video after I finish. And I only have two rooms left. Or a room and a half left. Um, because I realized that I can use this piece for the last piece of homework. Which was a letter in the word boat. 
because it was designed by the witchy stitcher because I forget she goes by that instead of just witchy stitcher so that's where the 200 stitches so far in the dark green on creature came in he has he has a little bit left he has like three colors of blue one more color of light green black yellow and the glow in the dark and red if I didn't say red so quite a bit more to do my husband just texted me he wants to go to the pumpkin patch tonight which is fine we'll go get a pumpkin he he's obsessed with getting a pumpkin so that we have it for a long time but we don't actually carve it until like Halloween day I don't know why he anyway husbands are weird so we'll probably go grab dinner, which means I don't have to cook, but it means less stitchy time and I really want to get this done as soon as I can because it's pretty and I want it on my wall. Here's the full thing again. The last one I'm doing is the movie theater entrance and it's pretty heavily stitched. So these last two both have a lot of stitching in them. This one's easy because it's a lot of the same colors. Kind of boring because I don't like a lot of the same color, but it makes it easy. I am going to add a little rubber ducky that's in his room because he's only like 15, 20 stitches and it's super cute. Um, the back stitch isn't that bad in here. Most of the creature is stitched and there's a little bit of the seaweed, but not much else is is backstitched. Whereas this room has a lot of colors, a lot of backstitch, a lot of French knots. And that's what's going to be what's going to kill me, I think. But we'll see how long it takes me once I actually get to it. I'll get to it tomorrow. I don't think we have any plans. I was going to go to the pumpkin patch this weekend, but apparently not. So we'll go do that tonight, get it done, put up all the decorations probably tomorrow which takes up, it takes us a good four or five hours to put up all the decorations. So probably end up going to get the rest of that tonight so we can get it done. At least we know where everything is now and the rebar and stuff is already set out. So it shouldn't take us too, too long, but we still have to repair all of the stuff. We have to get like some gray, sp gray spray paint. Actually, I might be able to use just some acrylic that I have spray paint will be faster but it's like one big chunk was taken out of the front of one of the tombstones when it broke so one of the expensive tombstones but yeah so we lost one so we're gonna try to replace that one um but that'll be my husband's doing he can take care of all that and actually if we have to get spray paint then we have to probably go to the hardware store which means I can get the PVC to make my um Q-snap stand and so maybe he'll cut it for me if he has to cut the PVC for the tombstone I have to ask him and I might we might run a joyance tonight too because this oh hang on it's tangled I'll probably will run by tomorrow because I'll see if I can make it work but this is all I have left of my glow-in-the-dark thread and I think this room won't use a lot of it but the next room I think does because it's got a skull and a ghost and the whole marquee and so yeah but I think I might try to hold off and see if I can make that last because I would hate to get a new Thing of it and have it be too like the new one be brighter than this one because this one's is from my stash so it's been there for a while so I really like it to be uniform so maybe I will do the marquee first that I mean after I do this room but maybe I'll do the marquee first and then kind of go from there 
because that's the thing I want most to be glow in the dark because it's the most different from all the others. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So, and then I'll just stitch the ghost and skull in white if there's not enough. Because there already are skulls. Um, these skulls are glow in the dark. All the ghosts up here glow in the dark, so. I can get away with not doing the rest of it. And I think that skull is glow in the dark too. So, yeah, I think I'll just aim for the marquee and hopefully that'll be enough. Anyway, it's been like 15 minutes and I know this video is gonna be super long, I apologize, but I really would like to get the finish in this video, so, or in this vlog, so. I'm gonna text my husband back, I'll see y'all tomorrow. You guys, it is done. Finally. It's giant, it's gorgeous, I love it. I am happy for it to be done. I literally just finished up the last room and I don't even think you guys have seen all of the creature room yet. In fact, I know you haven't. So I got this done, I wanna say it was Friday night. It's kinda hard to see but the fireflies are glow in the dark, as well as his teeth and the little lamp thing on his head. Those were all supposed to be yellow, but I needed to get some glow in there. And then added the little rubber ducky. This room did not take me long. This room was fun. I had, I was thinking about doing this light green color in the white as well, but I really like how the light green turned out. I think my favorite part is the little white stitch, which is supposed to be that color, but the little white stitch right there. I almost made his eye white, but then I remember the duck was the same color, so. Yeah, this might be my favorite room. This room, which is the last one I did, took forever. That's because I realized, like, there's 500 stitches just in the marquee alone, so. I use this one for the foul, I think it was, the foul's um, ultimate extra credit. It's a lot of, it's really cute, don't get me wrong. It just, I don't think I was expecting it to be that big. Did have to get more glow in the dark, but the whole marquee, the ghost, the skull, and some of the popcorn and the scary. So all the white is glow in the dark. So, the popcorn is done in French knots. It's not going to focus on that. But it's two different colors. It's the white and then this yellow that's in the boo. Yeah, this room is really cool looking. So there they are all together. This one is so cute. I'm so happy with it. Even though I messed up everywhere. And it seems like this room, the last room, was really cursed because I would get to only like a couple of stitches left and run out of thread. And that happened to me on like four different colors. But I'm so happy with it. So I'm going to go wash it, and then while it is drying, I'm going to clean up my craft room because it's a mess, and I'm probably going to clean up some other stuff as well. And I will come back to you once it is washed and framed, which will be later on today. <laughs> and apparently my kitty, aw, is a witch. How'd you get her to wear it? Oh, you don't want it anymore? <laughs> oh, she hates you right now. She was purring, though. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to wash it. Like I said, I'm going to use cold water so it doesn't shrink the fabric too much because I run into that problem when I use hot water because I use long stitches for the back stitches. Like... Right there, for instance, is one long one. Um, 
the fabric tends to shrink and then and like up here they tend to get um like wavy so i'm gonna try washing it in cold water and see how that works i know it'll still shrink up a little bit but i'm hoping it'll be fine especially because this is a thinner fabric sorry i'm just gonna keep showing it to you because it's amazing it's also in the 70s today so which isn't that cool but i'm wearing my new disney shirt since it's Halloween and there's only like four days left. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, wash it, dry it, frame it all today. I did buy some upholstery thread since I had to get the glow in the dark anyway. So usually what I would do is just do like a full six strand of DMC for the back of it. But we'll see how the upholstery thread works. It's just, this is all they had. Undo the top of it so I can show you really quick. So it's not super thick. Let's see if I can get one strand out of it. But We'll see how it works. I wanted to buy that like super thick like twine kind of upholstery thread stuff, but like I said, this is all they had, so apparently this doesn't even hook back up anywhere. But we'll see. But I will come back to you later on tonight with my piece totally framed. See you then. Okay guys, are you ready for the grand reveal? Ta-da! So just a simple black frame that I just picked up at Michael's. Took me a while to get everything laced and put together. I always forget that I need to cut the mat like a quarter of an inch shorter. So I kind of had to shove it in there. But it looks really good. I'm very happy with it. The mat, not the mat board, the um, foam core that I used was a little bit too thick for this frame. So I basically just had to duct tape the back of it. Um, I used the little tabs inside to hold the actual piece in place, but it was too thick for the back like this is like flush pretty much with the back of it so just stuck some duct tape on there it's not touching the piece in any way so I don't really care and now I get to go hang this up on my wall and I guess I'll show my husband and see what he thinks because he hasn't actually seen it yet I don't know if he actually knows I've been working on this but I made sure to try to straighten up all of the lines that I could washing in cold water actually helped a lot there's only like one or two that I had to do the stairs are a little loose but in this case I kind of like that they drape a little bit because instead of like straight stairs it makes them seem like light angled is that the term for it I don't know but yeah super happy with it Sorry, you're across from the windows. And I will say happy Halloween to everybody because I'm going to post this now or edit it and put it up so it gets up today, which is Sunday the 27th. It's 4.15 p.m. Um, made my plans for next week. You will see George a lot, which is good. Got my tablet in. don't know if I told you guys this yesterday. It was, I got this, a stylus, actually it like came with four stylus, styli, um, and a phone case for my new phone that I'm getting. They were all supposed to be one day shipping. I got the Kindle Fire 8, the refurbished one, um, but the case came right away. 
the stylus and the tablet didn't come until the day after, which is dumb. But anyway, so I got Pattern Keeper on it, did all that yesterday, got my pieces caught up to where they should, well, got George Washington caught up to where it needs to be, um, highlighting wise. And actually you guys have already seen it on my computer. So I'll be stitching a lot of that this week for the Dumbledore week nine challenge. I think it's week nine. Um, and I found out, or I figured out how to make Dumbledore, or make the piece work for all ten letters. So that'll get a thousand stitches. Because you get bonus points if you use a fewer number of pieces. And my hair's a mess. Um, the number of pieces, or the, the amount of points depends on the number of pieces you use, up to three. But since I can use one piece for all of them, I get 20 bonus points, as long as I can stitch them. And it should be pretty easy to keep count because I'll actually be doing more than a thousand, but it's in, every letter stands for a hundred stitches, so I'll just do a whole row across of like 250 or 200 to 250, because um, at that point they're half stitches, and then I'll go back and cross them all, which will be another... 250 um, half stitches so yeah you'll see another five rows on that I kind of actually want to start stitching it now so the homework doesn't actually start until like 10 o'clock my time um, but I can do some extra credit or something so I might finish the extra credit for I'm one thing behind for the for this month um which will have to be harry potter so which will be a thousand stitches in that so i might do harry potter i might do i might just skip the rest of the extra credit and do another ultimate um but i'll kind of figure it out yesterday we got up all the rest of the halloween decorations i was hoping to come to you with the finish yesterday but it was like 11 o'clock at night and I hadn't finished, I hadn't finished any of the red, the gold for the tickets and the outline of the door, hadn't done the silver on top of the ticket box and the bottom of it and the silver poles. So yeah, 11 o'clock at night, wasn't going to do that. But mostly because we got, we finally got the decorations back up. It's supposed to be windy again tomorrow, so we'll see. It it did damage our archway pretty badly, um, so we're gonna have to try to fix it when we take it down again. So we're just really hoping that the wind isn't strong enough to knock it down again, because we're not gonna have time to fix it and put it all back up again. So I think tonight we're going to take down all of the like take out all the tombstones and stuff just to make sure that they don't fly away again because my husband made another one to replace the one we lost. He will probably say we shouldn't do that and I'm going to say I don't care we're doing it anyway because that's why they blew away last time. So we'll do that tonight and kind of it's supposed to be windy tomorrow, Wednesday and Halloween itself so obviously Halloween everything's going to go out anyway because if it blows away who cares. But it's supposed to, I think, be strongest tomorrow. I'll double check that, but for now, it's all out. It's looking good. The spider web still stayed intact. Hopefully everything else is fine. <laughs> so, like I said, I would say Happy Halloween, but I am going to come back and hopefully take you on a tour of all of our decorations once they're up and going, and I'll show you this piece on the wall along with my other... Halloween cross stitch pieces which are all in the entryway. I actually don't have a place to hang this up. I'm gonna have to figure out where to put that. But yeah, I'll take you on a tour of our Halloween stuff and but it's gonna be a little late so because we have to wait until it's dark for a lot of our decorations to really pop. 
So I will see you all on Halloween. Bye!